believe we have been called by God and we've been chosen for this hour. We are no better than anyone else. We're no better than any other denomination except we have been called by his name. As of 2010, Christianity was by far the world's largest religion, with an estimated 2.2 billion adherents, nearly a third, or 29% of all 7.5 billion people on earth. About 98% of these are not baptized correctly. Of those baptized in the titles of God, or otherwise incorrectly and not in his name, roughly 50% or one half are sprinkled most likely as a baby and not immersed in water as informed believers in Jesus Christ. Study the book of Acts and you will see that there is not one baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. They were all done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. You must be baptized by belief in Jesus' name to be saved. The word baptism means to wash, bathe, or immerse. Water baptism began in the Old Testament. Converts to Judaism had to go through the baptismal waters of mikvah. All converts were immersed in waters of separation as an act of faith to become a Jew. When baptized, the sacred name of God was invoked over the candidate. What is the name of God to be invoked over the candidate for salvation in the New Testament? That name is Jesus Christ and can be found in Acts 2.38. Jesus is the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It is the family name of God. All the members of the following religions are baptized with a false baptismal mode or formula. The list is not an exhaustive one, but should serve to provide a general idea of the great apostasy spoken in Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. list is quite large, and perhaps you found your church on the list. Now, it'd be too long for me to read every single church that baptized wrongly or unbiblically. However, let's take a look at how people were baptized in the New Testament. People baptized in the name of Jesus in the New Testament. Paul the Apostle, 3,000 Jews, the Samaritans, the Ethiopian eunuch, Cornelius and the Gentiles, Lydia, the jailer, and his household. The Corinthians, John's former disciples, the Romans, the Galatians, and many more. Famous people baptized in the name of Jesus in the modern era. Charles Parham, Glenn Cook, A.H. Argue, Frank Bartleman, Azusa Street participant and historian, E.N. Bell, one of the two organizers of the Assemblies of God and its first general chairman. William Booth Cliburn, Glenn Cook, A.G. Gar, Frank Erward, who was an early associate of Frank Durham, and prominent revivalist, Howard Goss, one of the two organizers of the Assembly of God, one of its executive preposters, Elsie Hall, G.T. Hayward, prominent black leader, B.F. Lawrence, Harry Von Loon, R.E. McAllister, who was a prominent evangelist, Amy Semple McPherson, D.C.O. Opperman, an executive preposter in the Assemblies of God, H.G. Roger, and lastly, R.G. Hoekstra, who has achieved financial success with his chaplain Ray radio broadcast. There are many others throughout the ages who follow the practice of Jesus' name baptism that was set forth by the apostles. How about you? Are you willing to please Jesus or serve the vain traditions of those who pervert the gospel of Christ? No man can serve two masters. You will either love Jesus and take his name as his bride or follow the voice of a stranger which leads to everlasting destruction. The choice is to believe and receive or 
be deceived. You make the call. God bless you. In Jude, we find him writing in verse 3, I wanted to write of our common salvation. But he said, I realized it was necessary for me to write to you of the faith which was once delivered to the saints. It's very specific in Greek. It was delivered once for all. We do not have an evolving gospel that needs to be updated with the latest theories of psychology and sociology and legality. But we have the faith which once for all was delivered to the saints. It saved people in the first century. It saves people in the 21st century.